Greetings and salutations, this is Imperator Vespasian bringing you yet another building for our kind of our Call of Cthulhu game but you can also use this for ACW and stuff like that. So it's just a colonial era American church and I believe there's still churches like this knocking around, I've found pictures of them so they must be. And this is the church we've put together for our Cthulhu game. Um, you have already seen this if you've watched the battle reports that we've done. Uh, this church is in a couple of them, I think. So it's quite a simple build. It's just a frame of a church with um, wood panelling all over it. Let's move these guys. Right. And it's quite a decent model because it's quite sturdy and you can fit loads of figures in it so you can take the roof off you have a nice roof space there to put your troops in case you want to and the forward section comes off that's your entryway which you can defend against uh, mythos creatures that swarm and multiply in a drop of water uh, that's that bit and the roof section I've done in I've done like this this way I can have the tower permanently attached and I don't have to worry too much about sort of either losing the tower or if we're playing a game having a separate part of the building attack um, which has things in it such as the manor house we did um, you have to take each individual floor off to get your troops inside and it's quite complicated this way I have a uh, the guys in the roof are still part of the main model when you've taken off the roof sections so it, it, that's the way I did it and I thought it was a much a much simpler way of doing it so I didn't we didn't have extraneous pieces of scenery scattered around the table with figures in you know sort of extra floors to the building and stuff so that's the interior of the church uh, the interior is just painted and uh, dry brushed I have not put any scenery in it yet I'm going to put some pews and things like that inside when I get around to it but at the moment uh, we've moved on to doing samurai stuff so this stuff will have to do for now um, although I will be doing some more bits and bobs for it as I go along so it's a decent size inside. It's not too big on the outside, so it doesn't take a huge amount of space on the gaming table. But on the interior, you still have enough room to position your troops and stuff inside of, inside the model. And w even with the pews and stuff in, you will still have enough room to move stuff around. I think I'll do the the seats and everything sort of on separate bases, so we can move them in and out as we need. So that's a quick overview of the church. Uh, it's been quite damaged because all of our Call of Cthulhu stuff I have sort of damaged roofs and things like that because it fits in with the theme because it's all sort of ruins and um, areas of land not very well maintained shall we say. Um, also it could do for Civil War as well because you could have um, damage caused by gunfire and stuff like that so it's, it's not a bad idea so that's the oh, I'm trying to find the guy he's there that's the overall build um, this section of the roof I had to put an a-frame in to secure it to stop it from be uh, bending um, so we have that side and on the opposite side I have the frame which stops it from bowing so I'll slot that back on and it fits seamlessly so you can't quite tell where the roof seam is that's what I always go for in models and stick the front door on like that so it's nicely secured and that's the model that's the complete model and I think it's not not a particularly bad job so you can use it for the troubles in the in the colonies um, you can also use it for the Civil War period and uh, you can also get away with using this as a mid-European building in Napoleonics uh, because there's churches like this in Belgium, um, Northern France and even in Northern Germany. So this sort of building can do quite well. And also if you stick an onion dome on the top, that's one of those big ball things on the top. Uh, it would easily pass as a Russian church of the same period, um, even to today. And then you could use it for um, 
gaming in Russia. So you could use it for bolt action or you could use it for Napoleonics. Uh, we do plan on getting a Russian army at some point for our black powder. Um, so we'll be doing stuff in Russia and uh, easy change to this would be to maybe put a thatch on the front to replace that one with a thatch and this have an onion dome on it. So you can use the same model for both places. So that's an idea off the, off the top of my head but I have been thinking about it so not too much. So that's about it. I can't really stretch the video out much longer because it's just a church and I have no one to ask questions. So uh, ask questions yourself in the comment section. Um, let me know what you think of it. Uh, yeah, I think you've already seen it in combat so you already know how it operates in general. Um, so thank you for watching. This has been Imperator Vespasian. Goodbye.